Joe, uh, your reflections on day two of the test match. I think it was another good day for us. Uh, to eke that uh, first innings set up to over 350 was a brilliant effort. I thought Robbo played brilliantly both days, but today in particular, um, to really take it to them and uh, negotiate the new ball and, and manage to find the boundary as frequently as he did uh, was it excellent from him. Uh, and then with the ball, I think, you know, in, in particular, the two spinners were, were outstanding, really. Um, on that surface, it was obviously going to be, it's going to keep getting trickier and harder for both sides batting wise, but um, you've still got to ask really good questions of some very good players of spin, and um, they did that time and time again today and deserve the rewards that they got. I know the bulk of your work was done yesterday, but just how satisfying was it to walk off 122 not out after a wonderful innings? Yeah, it was a shame to, uh, it would have been nice to get a bit more of a partnership with Jimmy at the back end there, um, kind of mess out really. Um, it would have been nice to at least have a proper dart at one of the two spinners. I was trying to line call deep up, but it wasn't to be. Um, but, yeah, it was, uh, it was nice to get, like I say, I've had a lean series. I've not performed anywhere near the standard that I expect of myself. And um, it was nice to to step up for the for the group, really. It's what you pride yourself on as a player. And, um, you know, yesterday and today to, to be able to say that I finally actually done something with the bat is um, it's quite nice. After the kind of chatter of the last week, how much temptation was there to get the ramp out for the 100? Um, it crossed my mind, I'm not going to lie, but it, it, very, it was only a very brief um, f- fleeting thought. So um, The game's bigger than me, the, the situation's bigger than any individual and you've got to just play what you think is the best way to play in any circumstances. And on that surface, it didn't seem like a, a very good option, so I didn't take it. This group kind of prides themselves on not getting too high or too low. You've mentioned there the kind of frustrations of having a lean series. Is that something you found difficult over the course of this last month to keep your spirits high when the runs haven't been flowing the way you're used to? Uh, it's not the first time, is it? I, you know, you play as long as I have, you, you're going to have ups and downs and times when things go for you and when they don't. And um, I think the, it's one of the beauty, be- beautiful bits about experience is you still probably feel all the same emotions you did at the start or when you're a bit younger and you know you've not gone through it before but um, you've probably just got a bit more trust in your ability and your and what you know what you've done previously to get through the other side of it so um knew uh, as a as a good player I was going to be able to get go and do that and it was just when and making sure that I continually keep work kept working hard kept trusting um my decision making under pressure and in the moment and you know, I think that I did that nicely last last couple of days. Sure, Bashir, 31 over spell. How impressive was he? He was awesome. Um, he's such a good lad to have in the dressing room as well. He's very funny. He's got a great character. And he takes it out onto the field. The way he goes and plays is, um, you know, it's, it's a good insight to his, his personality. Um, he's a cheeky young lad with bags and bags of talent. And, um, you know, it, it, as you can see, he's not going to step away from the occasion or... Um, sort of die wondering he wants to get involved he want to get, wants to get amongst it and um, you know you saw a really good version of him today Were you one of the members having to stretch him out after Jimmy's rogue throw in the outfield Shrub I think we can forgive him for cramping up after 24 overs but also at 20 years old I thought we might be able to get a bit further in his spell before cramping I don't know it's, it's quite humid isn't it and you say 24 over spell I've never been there so it's hard to comment um but like I say, he was, he was awesome. He's been been awesome. And Tommy as well, backed him up beautifully. The partnership, the pressure that they built, the way he managed to um, restrict boundaries at a crucial time. And yeah, together to, to get us to the position we finished the day and is really strong. And it's just making sure we don't get ahead of ourselves and we just you know stay where our feet are and do what we do. And just finally, a nod to the kind of morale of the group. Marcus Truscothic has his whites on running the drinks. How high is the spirits at the moment? What was it like seeing Marcus back in whites? I imagine, like myself, you're probably used to him in whites opening the batting for England. Yeah, it was obviously nice to, to see him don the kit again. He's actually changing next to me, so I saw him. I got a sneak peek of him trying his shirt on. He was a bit worried he was a bit tight, but I think he looks good in it. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of that throughout the, the rest of the week. You have to keep your eyes peeled, but yeah, looks looks a. Uh, it's good to have him back out there with us on the, on the field in his whites, yeah. Best of luck tomorrow. Cheers, thank you. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.